Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We will be discussing our last kind of special product Being the square of trinomial Okay, so square of trinomial would be in this structure Okay, um, A, B, and C will be just denoting your first, second, and third term And this would be our, ano, our general structure for our square of trinomial Okay, so I will not write down the rules because the rules is already stated in here so let i will just read it down to you guys so what you need to do is you need to get the square separately you need to get the square of your first second and third term square mo sila ay natasari magkakatabi okay so you need to get the square of them and then the next thing that you need to do is you need to get twice like this this would be partin partnering now guys okay this would be a pairing game okay a pairing game would be simply i will pair a to b and a to c okay and then lastly i will pair b to c but why will not why, why will i not pair a to c because you already did paired a to c a while ago so we will have a c um a b we will have a c let me write down properly AC and then you will have lastly you will have BC okay so you will not have any other pairing there because if you will try to pair B to A it's already existing here and if you will try to pair B to uh, I mean C to A it's already existing here yeah. okay so this is a pairing game we will take three pairs only AB AC and BC and what do you need to do with them you need to multiply them and get twice that answer multiply and then twice multiply and then twice okay so let me give you a, a specific example and this is the example that i'm always giving pinakamadali the easiest one so we have uh, sorry let's have x y plus 2 squared okay so we have x plus y plus 2 squared first term is x so we take the square of that Second term is y, so we take the square of that. Plus, it's always plus. Third term is 2, so we take the square of that. Okay? Again, one key to ano, to answering, uh, to learning square uh, special product is by substituting properly. Okay? Plus, twice it's always there. A and B. A would be this one, and B would be this one, and C would be this one. A would be x times B, which is y plus twice a c a is x c is 2 twice a c and lastly we have twice b c which is y and 2 y times 2 see how easy it is substituting is very important okay so we will have x squared plus y squared because this one is 2 times 1 2 times 1 okay plus 2 squared is of course 4 plus this one when multiplying numbers and letters and there are generally nothing common in them what you need to do is you just simply need to combine them or write them together 2xy plus this one yeah. since the numbers are here are 2 and 2 then we multiply 2 times 2 the answer is 4 since x is alone then we take x as is and finally, we will have this one. 2 times y times 2 is 4y. And this would be our square of trinomial. That would be it. It's actually quite easy lang naman. Let's have another example. Say we have 2x squared plus x minus 3. So we have this given. 2x squared plus x minus 3. Remember that when you are substituting, you always take the sign or the operation before so our a would simply be 2x squared our b would be x and our c would be negative 3 then we apply our rule again what rule this structure sorry i, I wrote that wrong okay a squared would be 2x squared squared b squared is of course x x squared and lastly we have c squared being this one Okay, then we have plus. Take note, it's always plus. Twice, it's also always twice. Twice x y, I I mean twice a b. Our a is of course two x squared, and our b is x. 
twice AB plus twice AC. Our A is 2x. Let me undo that. It's 2x squared. And our C is negative 3 plus twice B times C. And we will have this um, solution here. Solution for now. And then we will now evaluate. Evaluating this one would give you this one. 2x squared squared. Okay, first one we take the 2 and squared. That would be 4. And x squared squared, ito yan, x squared squared will give us x raised to 4. Plus, x squared, x raised to 1 squared or x squared will give you of course x squared lang. Next we have plus. Why is it still plus? Because we know that the square of any number, negative number, would be always positive. And 3 squared is 9. Plus 2x squared times x and you get twice that. In this case, what you need to do, since there are no exponents anymore outside, no exponent anymore, wala na yan. What we need to do here is we just simply need to evaluate it per number and per variable. So, all numbers will be multiplied. All variables will also multiply. But remember, multiplying vari numbers are easy. Yan. But multiplying variables again and again, you will add the exponent. 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. x cubed. Okay? So, I will remove, remove this one. So, you will have finally 2 times 2 is 4. And x squared times x is x cubed. Plus, um, no, let's not use, place plus first. Okay, so we multiply this given term. Numbers to numbers and letters to letters. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times negative 3, the answer is negative 12. So we have negative 12. And x squared has no partner, so we will have x squared. And lastly, we have number times number. 2 times negative 3, the answer is negative 6, and then we have x, so we have x here. Okay? And let's check the given, whether we can actually combine things or not. Whether we can actually combine things or not. We're not yet done, eh? We're not yet done. Not similar term. Uh, let's look for similar terms, by the way. These are similar terms, by the way. x and negative 12x squared. I forgot to square it here. Okay, x and negative 12x squared. So, getting this one, the similar term of this one, go back to our previous topic if you do not know yet. The answer here would be 4x raised to 4. I will skip this one. I will combine this one. Okay, so this would be plus 4x cubed. Okay, plus 4x cubed. And we will have, what else? Um, the x squared. This is negative 11x squared. This is the same as this one. This one and then this one. Okay? That is the similar term or combination of that one. And then we have negative 6x. Negative 6x. And then we have plus 9. Okay? So what did we did here is we simply arranged from highest degree degree to lowest lowest degree and also we just simply combined combined similar terms okay we combined similar terms so this is what we did here and this would be your final answer let me just write it down neatly this is 4x3 to 4 plus 4x cubed minus 11x squared minus 6x plus 9. And this would be your final answer. Okay? So, a side note here that if you would have a side note, uh, let's use the side note, uh, the yellow one. Okay. A side note would be combine similar terms. Kasi, a similar term. There would be cases where in similar terms will um, arise from your given. Especially if your given would only have same variables, all x's only. Okay? So, let's have our final example. 
for our um, special product kasi it's a little bit easy lang naman so last example would be um, say we have 2x squared plus y let's have minus y so let's have minus um, 3y squared plus say we have plus y um, no, let's have plus plus 2y okay, so we have this one squared Okay. again what do we do I'm going to write your an my answer here would be square this a, b, and c so para hindi kayo malito I will list down a, b, and c a is 2x squared b is equal to negative 3y squared c is equal to 2y again answering this one will give us let me bring this down a little bit. Um, it will give us 2x squared squared. Take note. Squared. Okay. And we will have plus b squared negative 3y squared squared plus you have 2y 2y squared. And then we will have the combination of this three. Yung ating a, b, a, c, and b, c. It's always twice 2x squared and we have negative 3y squared. I think we will need to zoom out a little bit. I hope we can zoom out. Okay. Oh. Maybe let's just move it. Here. Okay. So we will have again. Um, wait long for a while. We have twice again. Twice BC naman. Um, AC naman. We have A and C being 2y. And lastly, we have twice b c negative three y squared, and we have two y. Okay, so yeah, nakasha. So what we need to do now, we need to evaluate. This one will give us four x raised to four. This one will give us nine y raised to four. This one will give us plus um, this is plus four y squared. Okay, this one will give us um, plus, this would be, I guess, um, I know, not plus, it's minus, because 2 times 2 times negative 3, that would be negative 12, um, x squared, y squared, this one will give us plus 8, this one, will give us plus 8x squared, y, and lastly, this one will give us minus um, 12y Checking the given, there are no similar term. Therefore, this would be our final answer. Again, if there are no similar term, that would be your final answer. Okay? So, this would be um, the square of a trinomial. If you would have any other questions, you can just check the video again. And if you would have questions when it comes to those basic matters, like getting the square or multiplying numbers, you can go to my other videos in our course and check them out okay so thank you again for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh